Hello and welcome to this GRC pool video guide. In this guide we are going to cover getting grcpool.com to communicate with Boink on a headless Linux Ubuntu 16 fresh installation. Also we will set up our Boink manager to be able to communicate to our headless Linux. The first step we're going to do is set up an account on grcpool.com. This step we've already covered in the first video on the website how to set up located on the home page. We will assume that this part is complete and we are logged into the account. We're going to be using the same account in the first video which already has our Windows host attached. We'll be attaching a new Linux host on the same account. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, install our Boink on our Linux box. By doing a sudo app get install Boink, enter in your password. Our installation is now complete. Our Boink is installed and should be running. To interact with the Boink client, you can use the uh, Boink command. We can, you can ask for help to get a list of commands. And the one we're most interested in right now to be able to communicate with the pool is the Join Account Manager. Okay, so we're going to use this command to connect to the GRC pool. So when our grcpool.com account was set up, we used a name and password to be able to establish that account. So from here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do our blank command, dash dash, join under bar account, under bar MGR. And the URL is https colon slash slash www.grcpool.com. And our name is our login name for the pool, which is in this case, GRP pool test. And then you're going to enter in the password also. enter and after that command completes we're going to go back and check the grcpool.com website and I'm going to refresh our host page and we can see a new host has appeared if I select that host and then scroll down and we're going to want to select a project for this host let's see in this case let's pick uh, something maybe different I'm going to select number fields for this project. I believe number fields is a CPU only project and we're on a CPU, CPU only box when it's got 24 threads. And I'm going to choose that project and do save project settings. And of course our settings should be updated and saved. Um, I'm going to click back to the main host page at this point. And let's go back to our Linux prompt and reissue our Boink command join account manager. This time it should do a synchronization rather than a join. We're gonna execute that. And then if we wanna see what's going on, we have to do a Boink command dash dash get state. So here it shows us that there is one project now attached. It's a number fields project. We want to use the Boink manager to interact with our headless Linux box. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the Boink data directory, which is typically under var lib slash boink dash client. We'll do a list here. And the two files that we're interested in here are this GUI RPC auth and also this remote host CFG. This GUI RPC auth is our password file and the remote host will allow access to like a host name or an IP that you want to give it, uh, grant access to. Let's give ourselves a password. So we're going to edit that GUI RPC auth file. And obviously you want to use a more complex password than that. And then we're going to edit the remote file also. And I'm going to enter in an IP address of where the, the blank manager is going to be running from. The next thing we want to do is restart our Boink client so the settings um, take effect. So we're going to do a sudo slash etsy slash init.d slash boink dash client and then restart. And it should say okay. One thing to note here is if you have firewalls on your network, you will need to open up the ports to be able to connect from the Boink client to the Boink manager on the remote machine. And that default port number is 31416. Okay, so let's go to our Boink Manager. And what we're gonna do from this is go to File, Select Computer, enter in the IP of the one we wanna to connect to. We 
which is our, this is our headless Linux. Put in our password, put in our password that we just set up, okay. And once it's connected, you can see our number fields project. Uh, currently it shows that project installation is still happening. But I think if we probably look at our logs, we might see some issues. Yeah, so we have the suspend work if not blowing CPU load exceeds 25%. Same as the uh, Windows installation, I want this use the remote manager to change my settings. We're gonna run this machine all the time. And I'm gonna leave all the other settings the way they are, push okay. And if we watch the event log here again, you can see now our number fields is initializing and it's starting to download files it needs. We should be getting some tasks here pretty shortly. So while this is finishing, as in the Windows install, when we first attach a project, we have this warning sign next to our project that indicates that it doesn't have all the information it needs. You can either do the joint account manager again to synchronize from the Linux command line, or now that we have the manager set up, we have the option to do the tool synchronize with grcpool.com from here. So we can try that. And since this is our second synchronization, the blank should send the pool the needed project information to clear that message and I refresh the page and it's gone. And we should see some magnitude and average credit calculated in the near future. Uh, let's go back and check our Boink client real quick and see if we're getting some tasks downloading and these should start running pretty soon. That's gonna conclude this video guide for headless Linux with a Boink manager and hooking up to the GRC pool. To the follow up on this video, we will do a Gridcoin install on our Linux headless and then put in our Linux headless Gridcoin wallet address into the pool and get the coins into our Linux headless Gridcoin wallet. So thanks for watching.